Hello, everyone. My name is Tristan Broadway, and my co-presenters in the order they will appear are Damian Miles, Maggie Say, and Gabe Figuration. Today, we are presenting our research project, creating a diverse online music learning community for young musicians. Our faculty mentor for this project is Dr. Rebecca McLeod, Professor of String Education in the School of Music, and Heather Loftall is our graduate coordinator. Our research aimed to address the issue of demographic imbalance between teachers and students in public string education. Statistics show that string education teachers in the United States are mostly white and female, which does not match the demographic makeup of the public school students. Research suggests that students identify more strongly with role models who are similar to them. This includes characteristics such as age, race, ethnicity, and gender, and they all impact motivation and a student's sense of belonging. Our project takes into account several possible solutions, such as culturally responsive teaching, same race role models, and near peer mentors. In an effort to increase access to diverse role models for young students, we created some online resources that students and teachers alike could locate to find mentors from diverse backgrounds and cultures. The Lillian Rauch Beginning Strings program was created to provide musical instruction to unrepresented students at the Clara J. Peck Elementary School. From this program grew the Peck Alumni Leadership Program, which allows students like me who graduated from Peck Elementary to serve as mentors to their peers. Over the years, Beginning Strings students, Peck alumni leaders, undergraduate, graduate students, and UNCG faculty members have come together to increase access to string instruction, empower students, and to create music with one another. The PAL program and its members have been able to perform for Dr. Maya Angelou, host recitals, perform with the Greensboro Symphony Orchestra, and much more. Upon noticing the incredible and impactful effect that a culturally diverse group has had, it became our hope to create an online community where young musicians could learn and flourish in their musicianship, just as the Beginning Streams program had done for those young students many years ago. Hi, everybody. My name is Gabriel Figuration, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about the different videos that we made. So for this project, we made 13 videos, and we have a few more coming out as well, and totaled around 5,700 views as of when I'm recording this. These videos fell into three categories usually, the first one being play-along videos. So those are when we had a timekeeper at the top and then the note name so students can play along with popular songs. Then we had instructional videos where we actually went through for each instrument and taught them how to play the song. And then we had contextual learning where we added contextual background to music and then we taught them. So let's listen to it a little bit. Hi pals, happy Black History Month, a month dedicated to celebrating, remembering, and honoring the lives and accomplishments of Black people from all over the world. It is a time to reflect and learn about Black history. And what's a better way to do that than through music? So for this month, we wanna teach you a piece that is very meaningful to the Black community. It is called we shall overcome. One, two, three, four. Before we wrap up, I would like to talk about some of the technical aspects of this project. Most of the videos were recorded with either phones or webcams that we already had. In the beginning, a lot of the audio was also recorded with phones, but we eventually moved to single microphone setups. For example, all of the music in the We Shall Overcome recordings were done with single microphones, including the string orchestra. All of the play-alongs used cover versions that were available at relatively low prices in order to avoid any copyright issues. The play-along videos were made by creating frames for each note that a student would need to play and arranging them frame by frame so that the note would appear on the screen as it is being heard. Let's wrap up. By creating an online music learning community, we allowed not only for more local engagement, especially during the time of the pandemic, but we also allowed for greater engagement within our wider music community. The view counts in our videos are indicative of the fact that these videos don't just apply to our local community, but really can apply to anybody, not just across the United States, but across the world. With these videos having diverse models of different backgrounds, we are able to introduce diversity into music classrooms in a relatively affordable and easy way so that teachers, even if their backgrounds do not necessarily match the backgrounds of their students, can introduce people whose backgrounds do match the backgrounds of their students 
and make them more comfortable within the classroom, allowing them to learn better. On behalf of all of my co-presenters, thank you for your time.